All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back with Assassin's Creed Origins. Still trying to to let that sit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Forging Siwa. Well, ha, Bean. I guess we can go go check it out. Not gonna hurt anything. Hey, come on, turn around. There we go. Oh. Oh. Did you hear about that new store with the From a temple. Are you crazy? You don't want something stolen from a god? Wait, are they ready? Welcome. We have many unique treasures for sale. Would you like? This is meant to be genuine, but it's a fake and not a very good one. <laughs> it is not fake, it is real. Would you like? This is your store. Yes, mine. Many unique treasures from faraway Siwa. Not fake. Not fake. Have you got anything real? I'm sure these are not your best pieces. What do you mean? These are real. Hmm. More expensive ones at my camp. I can take you. Not far from here. You follow. Okay, That's little one. Badge. Not very good, you know. We have better ones. Would you like? This is a I like real this one. one. These are the treasures of yours. Are they fake as well? I told you, not fake. Oh, how did you know? My treasures aren't really real, but not fake. My mother has some real ones anyway. Hey, I have a secret. I was once a Medja in Siwa. I've seen the real treasures. I made them all myself, you know. No one else can tell. Hey, do not worry. They are very good fakes. I will not tell anyone. I said not fake. Were you really Magi? Maybe you are fake. <laughs> ah, hey. You're a very cheeky child. Hey, let's see what your mother has. We go along the canal. You lead. I will fake it. Does not even make sense. It doesn't, but it's still funny. My mother! Oh no! What can we do? Stay Something here. is wrong! Stay here! Do not be afraid. Lucky for you, I am real. Stay here and keep hidden. Hey. What? Hello, gentlemen! Die, maggot! I've got a nice sword! Would you like? <laughs> Who the heck is are you? I am a liar oh. and you will be me. As I told them, I do not have any money, but I have many unique treasures from Siwa. Mother, he is not a bandit. He is my friend. Thanks for saving us. I guess you are real. Sorry I said you were fake. He saved us? We have to give him something. We always repay kindness, remember? I've got something. Here. This is a genuine imitation Siwan Kopish. It is very rare. They don't make them anymore. Please, take it with our gratitude. Mother, he already knows. Thank you. I'm honored. Yes, I can tell. This one's really real. 
There are almost none like it. May you multiply happy years. And you as well. Oh. Imitation C1 Kopesh. Down a couple of levels. Uh, but... Crocodile's Jaws. The Sickness. Oh, we're actually near that, so we'll take care of that. Let me take a look at the stats for the Kopesh. It's cursed. A fake death not even from see why every effort uh, was spared in its cheap, indifferent construction. <laughs> However, the damage it does uh, is remarkably genuine. Well, it's still a sword. It's still a sword. A sword cuts whether it's whether it's like really from the region it's supposed to be or not. A sword's a sword. <laughs> Burning corpses. This is blasphemy. But hey. Why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on, lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel. Even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. Okay. Investigation yes, progress. Nothing over here. Oh! <laughs> My children, your hunger is known. Turn to Sobek for your nourishment. No signs of a plague on the body. Land. They used to eat at the arms kitchen in the market, but soldiers began harassing them. Greek merchants said they were bad for business. These bowls are filthy. What have the villagers been eating? They must have the food stored somewhere. So improper Should have a look around. Zans contain strong seasonings. Okay, it's properly seasoned. We should move. This, this food is rancid. It smells like shit. It's completely unfit for eating. This gruel is not fit for rats, let alone people. The strong spices are not for taste. They are disguising the rot. I need to talk with whoever made it. Sobek has provided a way. Though the food is humble, it gives life. No, it does not. Eat with thanksgiving and trust in Tell him. me about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. By the gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. Let's visit this merchant of yours. I will follow you. May Sobek reward you for helping. Oh, she's just gonna run? Okay. Where's she going? I've passed many prosperous farms. People here seem to be doing well. Why are there so many poor? Ah, oh, yes. Those are Greek farms. Of course. The Greeks pay lower taxes so they prosper. Meanwhile, the Egyptian farmers are slowly forced from their lands. What happens to the land when the farmers leave? Once the owners die, by law the land is freed. If it's good land, the Greeks take it. If not, the desert takes it. Either way, Egyptians are left to starve. Many end up in the slums. Oh. 
Are they not allowed to pass it down to their children? Then again, I guess that doesn't really make any sense in, in lands full of corruption. Who cares? Where the hell are you going? You could have just taken the straight road. This is the home of the merchant who provides the food. Even the cats here look better fed than the poor. Hmm. The owner is obviously of substance. Not all Egyptians seem to be equal. Some are just more equal than others. This is awful! No wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you have been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easier if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. I do what I can to help. I have seen your kitchen, Marchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. Now, you're trespassing. And I have the right to protect myself. Men! That's not a familiar story. If you were reasonable, I wouldn't have to do this. We could have worked this out. I'm not dying over this. Hold him off. This merchant of death was murdering the poor for their land. His love of money was their real sickness. Fayum won't miss him. The dead right? can rest. There will be no more Bani. And now somebody can take his lands. He doesn't need them after all. Okay, so. Jaws of the Crocodile. Alright, so I should probably just take a ship over. If I can. Wait a minute. Where, where am I? Oh, I'm still heading towards the coast. Although... The docks are up here. Boop. Take a Faluka over. Get down. Get on you. some good bright measure I like it daytime in this game I really do it looks lovely it's so fucking pretty uh, that's a dead soldier I didn't kill him I don't know how he died don't blame me okay so how do I okay just go right around the peninsula It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood.
close-ish, sort of. Welcome to the Fayum Oasis. I guess the region we would have just been in for the whole time is called Fayum, and this is the Oasis part. This is Crocodilopolis. Orocalos? In Albothanin, Strato and Hrenkix are the The gladiatorial arena. So the crocodile recruits from this place for his personal army. I need to find out more about it. Before we do, let's grab that. Just so I can have a, a good center point. In case I ever need to leave and come back. Now we'll ask around. Excuse me. What can you tell me about this place? Can't you see? It's an arena for Roman blood sport. Barbaric, if you ask me. But it's found favor with those desperate to forget their troubles. It used to be a temple. It should have been left that way. Yeah, it should have. The Ovikos, the living embodiment of war. His fists are deadlier than any weapon. Veridovix, the loyal servant of death. His scythe will ever reap the unworthy. Uh, what about this guy? Hey, Neb. What can you tell me about the men who fight here? Men? These are not men, they're gods. You've never seen such savage warriors. They could break you in half with one strike. Sure. Uh, do any of them have red hair? Gods among gods, have you never heard of the brothers from Gaul? Can't you feel their eyes on you? Their statues are beside me. Mm hmm. So one of them. Sir, we need more fighters. They're dying at... Are you the owner here? Yes, I am the owner. Felix Martialis. Who are you? Another rough knuckle no name seeking fame? I only want entry to the arena. I heard you have got a fighter worth watching. With red hair? Ah, you mean the Gallic brothers. You heard right. But let me save you some time, camel boy. You cannot afford it. Now piss off before you scare away someone who can. Sir, this man wears a Magi badge. Ahmed what? I do not even care. Can you fight? You look the part, like a vicious, mangy dog. No, nah, right, you racist nah. piece I of have shit. already got an Egyptian, a huntress from Siwa, who's worth three of you. She frequents the obelisk in the East End if you want an impromptu beating. It is the only way inside this arena. Fight in the streets, and the gladiator can bring you in. So. The Gallic brothers are involved in Shadia's murder. But why are they doing the crocodile's bidding? I need to get inside and learn more. 
likely the arena be owner mentioned too? a C1 gladiator to the east at an obelisk. I wonder if I know her. So a so. small place. I should go and see. Let's go check it out. Oh. That is not a road. Can I jump over this? Oh. I can. Petruchos is angry. The image of Sobek shows the god's will. What will we do? I shall heal Sobek. Continue to worship. Okay. So somebody's poisoning the crocodile <gasps> here, too. Get out of my way! The fact that I think we can fix in a bit after we fully investigate. Move! Hottie! Hey, what's the meaning of this? Aha, cool! So long, red dot! Where is Sobek and his sandal licking priests? Where is the protection? Huh? Right, let's see who it is. There's the C1. Wait. That looks like. to see you. What are you doing in Fayou? I heard this was a good place to, to prosper. Hmm? <laughs> but I never expected to find you here, Kensa. <laughs> what can I say? I heard the call of the arena. <laughs> can you believe it? I am a gladiator now. Huh? <laughs> but come, come. Let us talk. And drink. <laughs> All right, we found an old friend. I'm telling you, Bayek, I am so close to my dream. If only I was given the chance, I know I could become champion. I mean wealth, luxury, fame. What more could a woman want? Huh? That's why I came to Fayum, to make a new life for myself and bury the past. But I was turned away from the arena doors. <laughs> so you have finally given up trying to put the world to rights. Good. Such things are impossible. Felix is slow to trust outsiders. But do not worry. With my backing, we'll soon be fighting side by side. First, we drink. And in the morning, we can go to the arena for the proper introductions. Eh, it's good to have you here, old friend. I mean, at least she doesn't hate her own oh, Egyptianness like uh, Senifer did. Into the Crocodile Optimus Arena when you're ready. But you know what? Since we're here, and before we do that, we might as well do this while we have some time. This one seems like it might be a little bit shorter, and it's right near the arena. Oh. 
Clear the way! What are you playing at? Did you see his eyes? Something is wrong. We're cursed. All right, guys. That's a bad omen. What's going on? I thought the sacred crocodiles of Crocodilopolis were tame. I do not know what happened. Petsuchos has never attacked anyone before. His eyes turned red. Did you see? Is Sobek displeased with us? Nick. Even the gods turn their backs on the people. Where is Petsuchos now? Our priest Sehetep took the god back to the pool inside the temple. I have never seen him like this. Something okay. about this is not right. I should take a look at the crocodile's enclosure. Yeah, let's take a look. I never thought I'd hear the words tame crocodile. Oh. No sign of the priest. But Sutros looks agitated. I should try to stay unnoticed. A carcass. It has been chewed, but not eaten. Okay. There's some over there. Foul smelling liquid. Ah, the stench burns my eyes. Ah, Nick. Blood. Someone was injured in the enclosure. They went up the staircase. What do you mean? Uh, out. Oh. And then drop down here. Oh. Clean themselves up a little bit. Does this go outside or? No, that, that's to the enclosure. A discarded priest robe. And it is covered in blood. Whoever was wearing this was badly injured. The blood trail leads outside. Did they bleed out somewhere? Okay, that's a quick turnaround. I'm glad they don't do the death roll. Soul crocodiles. What was he doing back here? This was the man who poisoned the crocodiles. He was taking orders from Melina the Hibiscus. Pretty name for a killer. She's at the Neorian Naval Arsenal, to the south. Is it done? Who dares touch a god of Egypt? I will hunt down this blasphemer. The Greeks have joined us in worship of Serapis! Oh god, where are we heading? Down there. There we go. I was wondering why my horse wasn't showing up. Just take the road straight. Whoa. Is this not where they're at? This is it, I think. Purple dress. I think 
Is that her? I remember seeing a brazier. Didn't see a brace here, but I just stumbled upon it. What? Oh shit. Shit. You didn't see anything. You're not being watched, you're being followed and stalked and murdered and threatened, but not watched. Hey, no. Oh, shit. will be happy anyway. The people were terrified. The crocodiles will miraculously recover. And he'll get his offer. Here we go. Confirm that kill. Poisonous little woman. Talented, but twisted. Sehta. He was the priest at the temple. What is it with priests and money? Corruption? It's just for sure. At least the temple crocodiles are not going to die. I should tell the guardian. Off we go. <laughs> to fix some problems. Oh my god. Oh, somebody tried to light the brazier, didn't they? <laughs> Maybe they can at least do something to get him out of power. I have no clue. I don't even know who I'd talk to about that. Excuse me? Oh. No space, keep tight. Shit! The hunt has is down! Go. 
just cuz. Cuz why not? Yeah, segregation has never been necessary there, buddy, but, you know, you do you. I can't change the law, I'll only kill the people who make them. Guardian of Sobek, the sickness was not an omen from the gods. Your crocodiles were poisoned, but they will recover. Poisoned? Are you sure? By whom? They will pay with their lives! Your own priest, Sehetep, was responsible. He's trying to increase offerings from your followers. What? Sehetep is Sobek's right hand! He will never do this! What you are saying is blasphemy! Ah, you priests! Forever holding to your superstitions! You have been told the truth. The gods themselves will judge what you do with it. Well, I guess that's one way to tell them. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, Sandal. Where'd you go? Okay, whatever. You do you. You fly on about and whatnot. But, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, I thank you so very much for joining me on this uh, little adventure into Crocodilopolis. Um, if you like what you saw and you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all... Monday with Mass Effect 1.